High Thinking and Simple Living, Part 3 of 5, on Between Master and Disciples, given in English on January 3, 2006, in Surrey, UK. And if sometimes I come here, okay, then I tell you guys, and you come together. And squeeze in for a day, it doesn't matter, yeah? You don't have to meditate that day, you know? Just sit together, yeah? Eat and go home, yeah? <laughs> or meditate, you know, standing. <laughs> <laughs> or we can make like a, some like a portable floor, you know? Like you divide this into two floors, <laughs> clapable, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like a metal shell structure, <laughs> and put put wood on top of it, and some sit under, some sit on top. <laughs> After finish, take yeah. it off, take yeah. it off, and yeah. it's away. Mm. Yeah, or make boxes, you know, <laughs> <laughs> one box on top of the others, mm. <laughs> the clapable <laughs> box, you know, there, and then. Uh, Everybody sits in a box, and on top of that, another box. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like this, nobody dares go to sleep, you know, because <laughs> boom. <laughs> like this, you concentrate very well. <laughs> the one under also keeps concentrating, yeah. <laughs> praying so that the, the one on top doesn't fall out. <laughs> so both are, you know, united. If you all the boxes are united, you know. <laughs> yeah. Is it possible we invent such thing? You know, like a Murphy bed, you put it in the wall, you know, and when you don't need it, you fold it back. So it's just about this much around the wall. And when you need it, you sp span it out with some supporting uh, metal pole underneath, you know, some something that has feet like this and a pole on top. So it will stand there. Of course, it doesn't rely on that alone. You must be able to do something like that. Hmm? I thought about to do that in, in London, uh -huh. discussing one day with the brother. So what happened? Can you? Uh, it just came up because it's, it's, it will, it's little now, so if we make that plan, it will, it will narrow it too much. Narrow it too much? Yeah, everything will come very close. And... No, it could sit yeah. two levels. Yeah. <laughs> of course, just to sit for... Some emergency yeah. time. Yeah, something that can be done. Mm. It's a matter of making it safe for the people. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the head is so hard, nothing can, <laughs> nothing can, can ruin it. <laughs> yeah, nobody's more hard-headed than my disciples, don't worry about it. <laughs> Many years already, I still see like hitting the stone. <laughs> That's why I don't hit you guys. Because we only hurt my hand. <laughs> Not because I'm sweet or gentle, but I'm worried about my hands. That's it, okay? <laughs> no, no, he's not so desperate like that yet, huh? No, oh, England. <laughs> Just very expensive. Why? Why is that? Yeah, I know, I know, but it has always been. You know, London is one of the most expensive cities in the world. Yeah. But why? What is that there? They live out of the profits of the housing market. That's what the people from Britain benefit. So all the... Yeah. the so house, they're selling to make money. To so make the money. England lives on the, they, on the money, on it. the uh, real estate market. Yeah. But who go to London to buy yeah. a house? Everyone. <laughs> huh? Everyone. Everyone keeps What buying. do you mean, why everyone? Jobs. Yeah. Jobs. Good jobs? No? Oh, high pay in London. How high can you be when you pay so much for the house? What is it about London that people like? I don't know. It can't be the weather. It can't. <laughs> You're right about being anonymous because uh, it's, a lot of people come to London from yeah. foreign countries yes. because it's so free. You can yeah. be exactly who you want to be. So it's true. It's, it's like that, I think. But how anonymous can you be? If you want to live somewhere, you have to put your name down and electricity yeah. bill and everything. Yeah. Anywhere is the same. Yeah. Not that anonymous. 
unless somebody is already there and you just you just cross in and leave there, mm-hmm. you know, and pay rent quietly. That's mm-hmm. different, but I don't know. Um, I wouldn't say I hate London or anything. It's just so crowded, you know, mm-hmm. and it's not really that appealing. Except some areas like the Queen Mother area, you know, James Street or Park Lane or Westminster, just a couple of places, right? <laughs> and even then, it doesn't That's appeal. Still huh? That's still very crowded. Still doesn't appeal to me. Does it appeal to you? No. But everybody talks about London. For what is it? Why? Because of the palace? What is it in London? I think like other people um, like the way of life because yeah. they can. Everything is so easy to get to. Like where I come from in Cape Town, it's um, like transport's very difficult mm-hmm, um, course, and things like that. And over here, the transport, you can get on a tube, you can get anywhere. Uh-huh. And, you know, if you want to go out late at night, or, you know, for other people, they enjoy that. So they can go and do whatever they want at whatever time they want to. It's constantly going. I don't really see anything there in London that's like going anywhere, <laughs> coming anywhere. It's, it's all streets and houses. <laughs> you know, for example, in my army, okay? Yeah. Then I can understand, okay, there are discos, bars, restaurants everywhere along the street, you know, and you can see it. But in London, I don't see anything. There's pubs, because they enjoy, it's a very, it's a pub culture. Yeah. Kind of so they pubs. Get to the, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they go and drink all day long, all night long. Jesus Christ. Until they fall out the side. <laughs> Just because of the pubs? Yeah. But you can also live in Ireland and go to the pub. <laughs> Even more pubs. <laughs> Oh, here you can go to pubs as well, no? Yeah. You don't have pubs here? Everywhere in England you have pubs. You can, but the, the network system in, in central London for getting around is, is, is much more easier. Oh, the metro? Yeah. Whereas the further out you go is not quite as connected. Whereas in London, if you want to get on the tube, because it runs till like quite late. The tube, okay. <laughs> Underground, the tram. Underground. <laughs> okay. And they got the train, the tram, the tube, the <laughs> top. The <laughs> okay, okay. But where do you want to go in London? Is there anywhere worth going? No. no. That's what so, all of us come out here. <laughs> so, uh, so I don't. <laughs> yeah, I can't get it. I can't get it either. People who like the social life, I think. But what is the social? They're, all, they're nothing there at all. I don't see anything that's worth going in or coming out. I know. <laughs> Maybe I see pop, but what is a what pop? It's just so dark inside and smoky and, and dingy, and s- smelly. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, smoky. Oh, it's going there. You just feel like you're in the cloud, you know. You can't see. Anything. Maybe that's why, you know, they feel like closer to heaven or something. <laughs> <laughs> they feel they're in the cloud, you know. <laughs> it's very cloudy. You know? <laughs> cloud nine, you know. I think it's in the cloud ten, you know, because it's so. <laughs> so smoky, you can hardly find the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, they are very friendly in London, I have to say, and very sociable. I'm surprised, you know. Like the last time I went to London you know, for a passport, I just sat because inside it was so smoky. So I went outside in the freezing winter, you know, just and just read the newspaper. Mm. Just to be out there, you know, I was waiting for the passport. And some people just came and said, oh, all right, love. <laughs> yeah. And then just sat right there, you know. And, oh, what's in the new loaf? <laughs> I said, I don't know. I'm, you know, here, the heck, half of it. Oh, thanks, loaf. And then read it. No problem for them. It's like family. And I like that too. I do like that. It's just the pops that I don't like. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> you go in there, you don't need to drink. Just sit there and s- breathe in all this smoke yeah. for a while, and then you, oops, you know, <laughs> you go out on high. <laughs> they like the high, uh, high heaven, uh, like, uh, cloud nine, that's why. Oh, terrible. How do people sit there all day? And what football and all, you know? Loud, crowd, and cloud. <laughs> that's the impression I have of the pups. There's nothing much there that I like, you know? Smelly clothes and smoky atmosphere and everywhere, just full of ash and on the table, you know, and beer. Oh, God. So that's that's what London is? No. That's why people like London? Yeah, a lot, a lot of the people like that kind of socializing. A lot of the people. God bless them then. <laughs> yeah. Gotta help them. 
There's a lot of people come from Australia and New Zealand, all different countries, just, yeah. sort of just to be in London. There's more foreign people in London than there are. Yeah, I think it's also got to do with the money, though. Just think people. of London, I'm tired of it. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down. Yeah, tell me, tell me. Tell me. <laughs> hmm? A lot of people come here because um, the pound is so strong. So they come to earn pounds and they can travel to all over the world because it's, it's easier to travel from oh. here than it is to travel from anywhere else because it's, it's sort of cheaper than what it would be in any other country. So mm-hmm. they get drawn to London because of the pound and then they sort of use London as a base and mm-hmm. then travel to different places and, you know, they go for two months traveling okay. here and they'll work a little bit here. Okay, a little bit there. Yeah, true. Mm. Work for three months in, you know... In London, earn lots of money, go to Africa, spend it, understand? Yeah. <laughs> then come back, work Thailand, hard, 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 yeah. hard, and then go back and spend yeah, it. Yeah, Thailand, Mexico, you can live on $7 a day, $15 or something, a month, sorry. It depends on where, you know, of course. <laughs> I worked in a restaurant, a vegetarian restaurant, and um, there was a girl that I worked with from Australia. Yeah. And she worked there for only about a year, I think, and she'd saved enough money to go back to Australia and build a house, get a house. And, Oof. You know, it's crazy. What kind of house is that? Plastic? <laughs> <laughs> I think it was pretty much in the sticks, in the bush, you know, so yeah. very remote. Yeah, for, oh, it's maybe true, quite yeah. true. Yeah, like yesterday, the story I told you about the boy in Rwanda, 30 pounds on 30, yeah? And he can buy a plot of land and cultivate it. And I don't know why all the people stick in uh, England and don't go live somewhere cheaper. Here, <laughs> to buy a plot of land costs so much. <laughs> Nobody in Rwanda ever dreams that you spend so much money just to buy a plot of land and you buy there for $30, 30 pounds. I mean, 30 pounds you can buy a plot of land and all the equipment you need to farm and do things yourself. Wow. Some corners of the world, hey? Can't imagine. Just even then in Thailand and all that, you could live on maybe 50 pounds per month or less even. Huh? You live like a king there already. But nobody wants to go there and live like a king. I'd rather stay here and be slaves. Thailand's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, it's beautiful, huh? Oh, it's lovely. Yeah, too hot. <laughs> Too hard, but it's no, no big. What I just mean an exa- an example, you know. Um, where else, you know? Anywhere, really. Many places are cheaper. Even in Europe, you know, like Croatia, or Bulgaria, they're still very cheap compared to England and elsewhere in Europe. But nobody wants to go there. Why? Of course, of course, get used to. Get used to it. Mm-hmm. It's true. And you just stay here and think of here and. <laughs> Yeah, I guess so. There's guess. also uh, there's also a lot of places in uh, is it Croatia and that that used to have wars that, when they used to have war and uh-huh. stuff. Yeah. Um, and then after the war finished, um, the cheap. place was deserted, and it's really cheap. But my <coughs> cousin who lives in Switzerland, he went um, over with his wife once, and he said it's so beautiful over there. He said no one wants to go there because there's, there's still like land bombs and stuff. Mm-hmm. So there's land like mine. yeah. yeah. Yes. So they've got to take you like to. The people that take you there have got to show you exactly where to step so you oh. don't... Just but he don't said go that out of your garden, eh? No. <laughs> you never know. You might not oh, come back. <laughs> but they I, do say it's very, very beautiful over I there. I know, but... It's a pity they can't... You can't, no, no, you can't do anything. But... <laughs> <laughs> How long it lasts? Yes, yeah, God, tomorrow. The beauty. <laughs> But, but it's a pity because it's like you know all that stuff I know, is underneath I know. the ground and yeah, such I know. beautiful in Cambodia and all that you know yeah it's horrible war torn country you know yeah it's beautiful everywhere it's just how long it lasts you know your eyes <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah it's not nice to live there and feel oh, can I step out there of this carpet <laughs> <laughs> how many millimeters yeah oof I'm telling you huh. It's not that good, is it, huh? No. Uh, people make the mess of our beautiful planet, you know? These war mongols, those idiot astros. Naughty boy. I don't know. Naughty. <laughs> spank their bottoms. <laughs> so get all of them here and spank them. <laughs> all in a row. <laughs> Whip them. <laughs> and throw candy at them. <laughs> With them, with our celery sticks. Yeah. <laughs> Pour apple juice on their heads. <laughs> Wake them up. <laughs> wow, naughty, naughty, huh? Tell Santa about it. <laughs> <laughs>
Mm-hmm. <laughs> a naughty list, big time. <laughs> no more Christmas. Double, for you. <laughs> double, double naughty. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Hmm. And we've been talking all this nonsense stuff. All right, I gotta go, and uh, maybe we talk again someday, huh? Maybe this weekend or something. Thank you for coming to this night. Thank you. I just what I mean I don't know where I, I really feel that I could stay or you know it's always just something I don't feel terrible <laughs> Love you guys. Okay, huh? Take care. Great to see you. Bye. 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 Bye.